So uh, did then Prince Charles, now King Charles, leak you this story, Dan Wooden, as Prince Harry just alleged? Great to be here, Megan. Uh, sadly not. Sadly not. I would love to think that the new king had a hotline directly to me, <laughs> giving me all the juice. But no, actually, Harry got this one completely wrong. It's one of multiple lies, as you know, in the new TV series. He claims that this email was sent by King Charles at the start of January. Well, Megan, I actually had the story on the 26th of December of Megxit. I have proof of that because I was actually speaking to his communication secretary at the time, oh, who, by the way, Megan, was offering Harry's. me some of that horrible, nasty briefing about other members of the royal family that Harry claims to despise so much. Oh, really? I mean, that is the central claim of their piece is that they would never do to other members of the royal family what they believe was done to them, which is to be used as a dumping ground for negative stories when somebody else's name was in the press, that he and William promised they would never do that to one another. And now you're telling us on the record that uh, that his office, Harry's office, tried to use you and other reporters to, to do negative stories about the other royals. Yeah, absolutely. And the thing is, this isn't about planting stories. That's wrong. Journalists who have stories speak to the courtiers at the palace. And before all of this went on, usually those courtiers, if they knew you had an accurate story, would do what any good PR professional usually does, and that is try and shape the story with the other side. And so I was more than happy when I had the story of Megxit to hear what Harry and Meghan had to say about it. And actually what they had to say uh, was fascinating. They briefed me uh, via their communication secretary that the reason they felt like they no longer had a future in the royal family was because they had seen a photograph of the Queen or the late Queen, uh, now King Charles, Prince William and Prince George, which was prominently displayed on the Queen's desk during her Christmas message. And they viewed that as some sort of subliminal message from the palace that they didn't have a front role uh, job to come in the institution. But that's ridiculous. Now, that's the I line of succession. Included that in the story. That's that's absurd. That's a line of succession. Hello, even I know that as an American. But wait, he goes on to say in the documentary, the reason he knew it was King Charles's office who leaked this was that in the reporting was the the news that he had offered to relinquish his title. And so he had only said that to his dad. So it, it, he's basically saying it, it was either me or it was my dad and it wasn't me. Exactly, because that was one of the key parts of my story. When I uh, revealed Megxit, the fact that they were prepared to give up their Duke and Duchess of Sussex titles. But again, I had that for numerous days before this email from King Charles or to King Charles had been sent. Mm. But I think this all feeds into an overall narrative, Meghan, of Harry and Me Meghan as these uber paranoid people who love to drag each other down with conspiracy theories rather than lift each other up. And remember, it's never their fault. So no one never. close to them was ever leaking stories, Megan. If something went wrong, it always had to be the fault of King Charles or Prince William or Kate, who have become the bogeyman for the Sussexes. If you're like me, you're growing more and more concerned about the future. The market's all over the place, and inflation is at its highest level in 40 years. Interest rates are skyrocketing. Market experts are predicting mm, possibly recession, possibly bad one, using scary terms like economic hurricane. If you want to protect your future, call a precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They can show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. All it takes to get started is a short phone call, and they will have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or inside your IRA or 401k. And they keep it simple. This is the highest rated firm in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau and thousands of satisfied clients. And as an exclusive offer for my fans, if you call them right now, they will give you up to $1,500 of free silver and a free safe on qualifying orders. So don't wait. Call now. Call 866-518-2955. That's 866-518-2955 or text Megan, that's M-E-G-Y-N, to 65532. Again, that's 866-518-2955 or text M-E-G-Y-N 
to 65532. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.